in Microsoft Office 2007, it is really very easy to do ink recordings. You can do this, of course, with your mouse, or if you're lucky enough to have a tablet PC, it works very well with your pen that comes with your tablet PC. We'll first demonstrate how to use the inking feature in Microsoft Word 2007. What you need to do is to change the tools that you look at in the toolbar. Here we're at the Home toolbar. We're going to go over and click on Review to change the ribbon tools. When we click Review, you can see the ribbon tools change. And at the far right, you'll see Start Inking. I'm going to select Start Inking. And now you'll see all the tools available in inking. Of course, right now I have a blank Word document open that we can treat just as a piece of paper as we were normally writing with an ink pen. Uh, you can see across the top, these are the tools that you have available. You can select objects. You can delete ink that you've added to the Word document. The kinds of ink you can add are a ballpoint pen, a felt tip pen, a highlighter, you can, of course, erase any or all of the ink that you put on. You can change the color of your ink, and you can change the weight of your ink. And here's where you close these tools to go back to, your, to the home in your ribbon. As in this example, I'll just start out by selecting the ballpoint pen. And it's black right now. So in this blank Word document, we can write. We could do math problems. I'm going to change the color here. Change this to red. I'm going to change the weight to a thicker weight. And you can see you can do the same thing. And it's as simple again as writing with your normal pen and paper. We're going to go up here and delete all the ink by clicking here, and now we're at a blank Word document. Now I'm going to open up a Word document to show how, show how you can actually annotate in an existing Word document. Here's a Word document omen, open, a uh, getting starting guide for atomic learning. Uh, again, to access ink, I have to go up to the toolbar and click on Review to change my choices. Once again, the Start Inking is the link at the far right, so I'm going to click on Start Inking, and we get it now our inking choices. This time I'll demonstrate the Highlighter tool, so I'll click Highlighter. And in this existing document, if I were uh, wanting the users to be able to uh, make sure they know where to go to log into Atomic Learning. I can just highlight. Of course, I could use the highlight to circle or do anything I want. Uh, the eraser we'll use now to get rid of this highlighting. And we're blank back to a blank Word document. I can use a felt tip pen. I'll choose a different color here. I'll choose uh, blue. I'll change the weight to something not quite so heavy. And so I could use the felt tip pen uh, to draw attention to whatever I wanted to draw attention to, uh, to annotate in any way I want. Once again, if you want to get rid of all of the ink, you can select Delete All Ink. Go back to the ballpoint pen on this existing Word document and see that you can annotate and draw up anything you want. If you do save the file with the annotations, it will be there when you open it up the next time. And my suggestion is that uh, when you do save a document that you have annotated, you uh, save it with a new file name so that your original document will not have the annotation.